Crate and EXB drive. I got the Fire Team Servo and Fire Team ESC and a Spectrum 2050 KV motor. And as best I can tell from reading, stock pinion is a 12 tooth, 14 is the speed tooth. I've got the 14 in here. So this is as much of a stock RTR Creighton as I can possibly get out of the EXB. I'm going to show it to you on the table, get this thing on drive, 4S and 6S. Guys, let's get to the table. Here we go. Check this stock RTR EXB out. 2050 KV motor. Uh, got, the, got the ESC out of the fire team, got the servo out of the fire team. It still has a little rubber bushings on it. I mean, I just unbolted it, bolted it right in. I did put an XT90 on there because that's what I run. But this is as stock RTR as I can possibly get. Batteries, 6S 5200 milliamp power hobby, 8,000 milliamp CNHL, um, 4S. Been wanting to fit this one in there, but just a little bit too big. I really want to try that in something. I'll find something. I know it'll fit the Coralie. But anyway, you know what? This thing is ready to go. We're going to power it up. Take it out to the track, give it a good first drive because I gotta do that comparison, right? Gotta see if this can hang with the sledge. Let's get outside. As you guys know, when I do a review on something or if I'm asked about a vehicle or something, unless I've got the vehicle or had really good hands-on with the vehicle, I try not to judge. So this now gives me a little bit of uh, thoughts on the Creighton. Holy shamoly guacamole! I was full on throttle, did not have enough to pull the front end up. This is 4S by the way. There we go. Hey, did not break an arm. There we go. I got to turn my uh, gyro down a little bit. That was a heck of a hit though. That front bumper did its job. Okay, that's at like 18% uh, on the steering gain now. Feels pretty good on 4S. Nice, right there. Oh, yeah, on 4S, it kind of runs out of juice a little bit when trying to bring that front end up. Especially when the back end comes high on it. Now that was a good run across there. That was a good run. Nice, nice. It's handling really good. I think if I was to make this a straight 4S truck, more than likely I would definitely gear it up a little bit. Even if it's just for, you know, air control. That's kind of important. Speaking of air control, let's go see if we can get a backflip on 4S. Now, this exact jump right here, remember with the sledge, I did not have enough juice on 4S. Let's see what this right here's got. Nope. Same thing, that was full throttle. 6S is where it's gonna be. Same with the sledge. Nope. And there's no reason to hold throttle just to crash this thing down to show that it didn't make it. So, tap the brakes, save your truck. Let's, uh, let's run some laps. Let's see how this is gonna work out. Gonna go ahead and give it a few laps on 4S, and then we're gonna go ahead and get right into that 6S. Nice on the corner, except I kind of flood that one a little bit. We'll restart. Wow, that was a good launch. Good right there, I like that. Good level across at that time. That was probably a really good lap, it felt good. 
little bit squirrely on that one. No point in trying to get that one to know it wasn't going to happen. I think the wheels are already packing full of uh, dirt. That's pretty common on this fluffy area. That's a good jump right there. Good corner. Come on, don't mess it up now. I got a good run going. Nice flight right there. Coming across that second jump in the middle, really good. Oh! Okay, we'll have to see how that worked out. I think I've got some really good laps in there on this. Go ahead and put a quick check on that motor. Ooh, 136 or so. Not too bad, but we're gonna go ahead and give it a run right here. Let's go ahead and give it a quick launch on 6S. Let's see. <laughs> All right. While I'm here at the track with 6S, I'm gonna go ahead and give that a shot. Now, the thing about 4S and 6S on a track, when you just swap batteries and you don't go changing pinion gears and your setup and all that, a lot of times 6S isn't faster. I mean, I also noticed because you're supposed to hit the jumps correctly, land them correctly, when you overshoot a jump, it does not make you faster. Oh. You're really supposed to land down it, but. Now, I'll tell you what I did notice. I looked inside the wheels on the back and did not see any dirt. So there is quite simply just an off-balance tire on the back of this thing. Oh! Kind of want to try to get the triple and single back there. Oh, baby, get down. See, when you do that, that is not faster. Success feels really good, though. Oh! <laughs> that was awesome. But wheelies are not your fastest way around the track. Oh man, I'm messing up on success. I think I may be having too much fun. I don't know. Oh! Oh man, okay. Time to go hit the big hill, get that backflip in. Okay, I'm expecting that backflip now. Nice. Nice, nice. I believe I did a double, I think it was, with the sledge. I wonder if these tires will hold up. I don't want to blow them up yet. There we go. Got a double with the Creighton. <laughs> you are not going to sit back and take a whooping, are you? Oh, man, this is going to be a good one. Nice. So far, this thing is running absolutely great. Just so I get a good temperature check on the motor, I'm gonna go and give it a few more laps on 6S. Wait, if I'm going to do a lap, let's start this correctly. Not like that. I think the track is getting loose. All right, got a good run going here. I'll do it. Golly. All right, time to get it back. That was a good lap, too.
Oh, not a good start to this one. Whoa, I hit the high side of that jump apparently. There we go, nice pass across. Oh, my pinion came off. Okay, we're gonna grab this thing and go check this out real quick. Ha 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 ha. All right, let's go ahead and get a good check on it. I guess the pinion gear said, nope. I is out of here. Yep, look at that pinion gear. Out just a little bit. All right, let's check this motor temps. Not too bad, really. In the 160s. Heck, that's, that's fine. I mean, it'll burn your finger, but that's a fine, that temp's fine. You know, um, I did brush a little bit off back here, but it actually is not that bad. So apparently those are working. That's a nice thing. And that's all looks really good in there. I get the pinion gear tightened up and make sure that's all good to go and knock off the tires before I take it inside. All right, this was a good run. That was a good run. That was a great run. My fastest lap, which as of the time of this recording, I believe is the fastest recorded lap at an 18.3. I believe previously it was like an 18.4 with the Techno. So, I mean, granted, I'm using that line and I'm going through and I'm stopping that one image where it's right at the middle of that line as best I can. And that's how I'm getting the times for these, you know, and uh, 18.3, that's pretty darn awesome. So truck held up great, had a nasty first crash. When you're used to having the wheel speed to bring things up and you don't have it, you're trying to throttle, throttle out of it, but it just keeps going over and over. You end up with a uh, crash. Anyway, the truck held up. Uh, that was a nasty crash too. Good, good nose plant. Backflips on 6S, 4S was about the same as the sledge. So yeah, but anyways, guys, thing held up great. No complaints. Check that description. Use those links. I'll link this up down below along with the RTR since this is the RTR EXB. <laughs> anyway, guys, check that description. A main eBay, Amazon, and Horizon. Use those links. Help support the channel. Guys, thank you all for watching. If you're still watching, you are top shelf. You are the cream of the crop, the pick of the litter. You are phenomenal. Thank you for watching to the end of the video. It means a lot to me. Now, down below, there are links for the products you see, also for channel memberships. If you guys want to be a part, channel members get early viewing on pretty much everything that I can. So, guys, check that description. There's a lot of info down there. Thank you all for watching.